I'm Roberta Roberts and I'm a research fellow at the University of Birmingham in the School of Psychology and the work I'm presenting on my poster today is looking at roughness perception uh, within and across the hands and so we already know that increasing the number of contact points with the surface increases the roughness ratings of that surface and also when the two contact points on a surface are um, giving differing information the judgments about one of those contact points so one finger is swayed in the direction of the roughness of the other contact point which is the other finger and these findings are for two digits making contact with the surface when those two digits come from the same hand and here we're asking um, do similar findings occur when the two digits are from the same and different hands and can you see similar effects in magnitude estimates as well as discrimination judgments. And so the surfaces we used were square wave gratings um, of varying spatial periods. And here we've listed the groove widths and groove width is the major determiner of perceived roughness for these kind of periodic stimuli. And we asked participants to form a precision grip when they contacted these surfaces which were mounted back to back using their index finger and their thumb and to slide their fingers along the surface using a light contact force around one Newton and to restrict their attention to the thumb and try to ignore whatever they felt at the index finger. And in, our first ex in my first experiment, I um, asked participants to rate the relative roughness of, well, to rate the roughness of each surface. And in the second experiment, I asked them to judge the relative roughness of two surfaces in a two interval force choice task. So they attended to one of two, they attended to their thumb and they ignored the stimuli on the index finger. And the take home findings from both experiments were that roughness perception at the thumb in this case was biased by um, a second distracted digit, the index finger. And furthermore, this occurred both within a hand and between hands. And um, the effects were observed both in magnitude estimation and discrimination paradigms. And if you'd like to find out more or discuss these findings with me, uh, please come and talk to me at my poster. Thank you. <laughs>